So here's what we've been up to this holiday season. We started Netflix new series, Dark. Um, I, heard, I kept hearing a lot of things about it. The trailer looked really cool. Uh, people kept making comparisons to Stranger Things, but let me tell you, this Dark is more like Hannibal meets Back to the Future. Um, it's, <laughs> it's really hard to, to classify it. Uh, it's it's 10 episodes for season one. There's 10 episodes. It just came out at the beginning of December, and it's already been renewed for season two. So that means that a lot of people are watching it, and it's being received very well. Extremely well. Yeah. As it deservedly should be. Yeah. Um, I, this show just, like, is totally blowing me away. Um, it's foreign. It's German. It's actually the first German uh, original from Netflix that they've ever done. And... Uh, it's just, uh, I, I've literally, I've tried to find faults in it, and I can't. Like, everything about it is pretty much flawless. Like, the acting is amazing. <laughs> and, and, you, and you have to listen to it in German, not Please. English. Please, yeah, I was just about to say that. Yeah. Please do not be like most lazy Americans and turn on the terrible English dubbing. It, it's just not, you're not going to get, a, like, the same emotional impact as just, like, hearing the actors. I know you don't understand German, but I don't either. But I understand some. But just, it's better to just hear their voices and then just read the subtitles. Like, I don't know why, but it just works better. Um, uh, yeah, we actually had a discussion about this earlier, and I think part of the problem is these voiceover actors like i think they should just hire some theater actors they could still be students and they should be viewing what they're reading at the same time to get more like there's just no emotion in it and it's very dry and you lose a lot now that being said the show is beautifully shot it's a lot of great cinematography fantastic cinematography oh, amazing music yeah the music is really unique um it's like a mixture of really like dark sort of like electro tones mixed with like orchestra and stuff like that and, and the credit the <laughs> yeah it has this really <laughs> ominous sort of uh <laughs> Uh, outro music that comes on with the credits roll um it's just it's phenomenal and also there's a lot of people who are who are saying that they like sort of ripped off stranger things and that's totally false um it has nothing to do with i, I don't again, understand why people are saying that it makes Hannibal no sense meets back to the future i promise that is like the closest thing i can get to in terms of a comparison yeah um i, I gotta show him. i'm gonna show him back to the future this this christmas but it, it's very dark but then there's also the whimsy of the 80s so maybe that's where people are getting kind of confused because of the whole 80s thing but it also references the 50s yeah and, and even takes, the future which i don't know we're, we're gonna see some of that later on we haven't probably. finished the season but we had two episodes to go um I, I I hope I don't believe they're gonna drop the ball in the last two episodes. I, I think it's gonna no. be great and finish strong. No. Uh, unlike unlike Stranger Things season two, which we'll talk which about. Which we're later. gonna talk about, which really disappointed me. Um, but that's a different video. Yeah. Um, the just one more note. The there's a duo of people who produce the show. Um, it, I fr I can't pronounce the name correctly, but basically, there's one uh, creator like concept creator, and then one writer who have actually done um, three or four other things that were really really big in Germany but like nobody over here knows about them and they won tons of awards they just they have a style that's very very um, unique one of them is called the silence uh, and the other one is called uh, who am I and I've seen both of those and those are really good too so um, they're just they're just awesome at what they do and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the second season even though I haven't finished the first yet yeah, also, even the uh, opening credits is entertaining with the images. It's very um, elaborate. It's got like this kaleidoscope thing going on, and it's very interesting to look at. It's almost like art. Yeah. I'd say. Another thing I'll say is don't watch it when you're tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's a, it's a lot. really complicated it's, story well, i would compare well, it to like breaking bad level complicated i it's mean it's dense. it's like yeah it's dense with characters um because not only do you have to keep track of so there's the characters the characters children the characters in the past so it's like it's a lot of different levels um but totally worth it yeah you have to pay attention pretty yeah you have intensely to understand the whole thing but it is worth it so um watch the show if you like the walking dead you'll love this one um anything else no if you guys like our content please make sure to subscribe right here also follow us on instagram at rl and check out the brand new blog thelivingrishon.com 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.